I welcome all of you guys in the lesson number 29 for grade two mathematics. We started learning about mass and we have learned about how we can measure mass in grams. And yesterday we started how we can measure mass in kilograms. And I also told you the conversion that in one kilogram, there are 1000 gram. In one kilogram, there are 1000 gram. If you take one kg rice from market, that's mean that is equals to 1000 gram. If you take half kg from the market, that is equals to 500 gram. If you take quarter kg, so that will be equal to 250 gram. So just for the conversion, I tell you that one kilogram is equals to 1000 gram. Here we did the examples where bubble want to measure the bag of that sugar. So you can see this is the bag of sugar. This is the weight balance. If it is balanced on the from the both side, that's mean they both uh, the both weight and the both masses are equal. Look at this sugar bag on the uh, one hand of this weight balanced sugar bag, and on the other hand, this is one kg weight. So the uh, the weight balance is balanced. So you can say that this bag of sugar is as heavy as one kg. I mean one kilogram, okay? So the mass of this bag of sugar is one kilogram, okay? And you know it that we use kilogram to measure different hobby objects, okay? Like the book is asking you for your weight, which weight you will use, gram weight or kilogram? Yes, guys, can you tell me for your weight, which? You will use kilogram. That's very good. Because for the heavy objects, we use kilogram. We use gram for the light objects. We have already uh, finished the drill for heavy and light objects. Guys, we did some practice also. Like... Uh, this milk powder, we check what is the weight of this milk powder. So this is again the weight balance. On the one hand, there was a milk powder and other, on the other hand, there were two weights of one, one kg. So one plus one, two. I told you guys, whenever we have two weights, so what we do, we add and find out the total weight. This is one and this is one. That's mean this is total two kg. So this milk powder is 2 kg. However, this biscuit is only 1 kg because there is only one weight. So the mass of this tin of milk powder is 2 kg and the mass of this tin biscuit is 1 kg. We also measure the sum of the objects which are less than 1 kg like this box of cereal. This is not half, this is less than half and this is half kg. 1 over 2, we read it as half. This is, we read it as half. Okay. So this is half kg. And the mass of this crab is also half kg. We also check the mass here. The each item. The mass of the mango, this is one over four. That's mean quarter. So, so the mass of this mango is one over four kg. And this packet is one over, uh, this potato chip packet is also one over four kg. How do you know? Because the weight in the weight that's written that it is one quarter. It is. Yes, Sharif, one kg is equals to 1000 gram. Okay. So this is uh, also one quarter kg. If you check the weight of the following, guys, this is again, I need to revise. This is a different weight balance. Okay. Uh, one weight balance we see like this, where you need to balance, okay? Where you need to balance like this. On the one hand, you will put uh, uh, sugar, rice, whatever you want to weight. And on the other hand, you will put the weight. 
and that weight if they both are same heavy both are balanced then you will check the weight and in that way you will find out how much weight is there the another weight balance is like this okay so you can see that these are the numbers these all are in kg it's written kg it's starting from 0 kg like a clock 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and this is up to 10 from 0 up to 10 kg and you can check the needle of it when you put some weight uh, if you remove this washing powder so this needle should be zero this needle should be at zero once you put the weight on it then this needle will move towards uh, right side in a clockwise direction and it will exactly tell you how much the weight of a particular object it is so look at this washing powder and look at this needle this needle is at which point 4 so you can see sir the mass of the box of washing powder is 4 kg okay so this is 4 kg so because you have to read this uh, mass with the needles also so do you understand this guys how you have to read this mass hmm you know what why you want to say you want to kilogram let me clear you sharif i don't know what you did not understand yes sharif Yeah, why, why you were saying before the sugar was in uh, one uh, kilogram, but but you were saying uh, one kilogram, which uh, which is one thousand gram, but why you said uh, one kilogram? Sharif, I was telling you that if someone asks me that how much that sugar in the gram, so I will say one thousand yeah. gram. Okay. Otherwise, I will say one kilogram. I was just telling you about the conversion. That one kilogram is equals to thousand one thousand gram. Okay. Or or one or or one kilogram, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes, guys, clear all of you. Yes. 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 that's very good okay let's move further all right guys so you know how to read the weight from this type of weight balance the mass of the tomato was here half kg you can check here this is half and this is quarter so you can say the mass of cucumber is quarter kg here you also did some practice the mass of the chicken 1 1 2 3 kg this needle is at 1 over 2 that's why you will say it is half kg the pineapple weight how many kgs are there this is 1 and this is 2 1 plus 1 2 this is only 1 that's why you will say mass of fish is 1 this is 1 over 4 that's why you will say it is quarter kg up to here guys uh do you have any question anything you did not understand Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am asking. Do you have any questions? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. That's very good. If you have any question, you can uh, send the message in the chat box, and I'll take your question. Okay. Now I am uh, on the book, page number one hundred and thirty-eight. So guys open your book page number 138 page number 138 find the mass of the school bag find the mass of the school bag you can see guys this is the weight balance on the one hand there is a school bag and on the other hand there are two weights of 1 kg there are two weights of 1 kg can you tell me what is the mass of the bag 2 kg 2 kg 2 kg 
वेरी गुड वेरी गुड वेरी गुड वेरी गुड वेरी गुड द आंसर इज टू किलोग्राम सो यू विल राइट हियर इट इज टू के जी गाइस पेज नंबर वन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी एट इन योर बुक The mass of the school bag is two kg. Complete it. The mass of the school bag is two kg. And today we are going to study about comparing masses as well. Comparing masses. Did you finish, guys? Two kg. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, I know that is very easy. Now, now we will talk about comparing masses. Okay, now we will talk about comparing masses. Guys, like we compare the lengths, here we are going to compare masses. That means we will compare two objects, which is heavy, which is light. How much heavy? one object or one thing is than other or how much light one object or one thing is than other let's start what's written in the book there are also weighing scales that can measure the mass of the objects in kilograms you can find the mass of the bag floor by looking at the scale below the needle is pointing to 3 so the mass of the bag of floor is 3 kg as we already discussed guys and guys that we can check the mass in the different weighing scales okay this weighing scales i have already discussed with you in the last example you can see these all numbers are written in these all are kg look this this is 5 kg right so for that you can see the floor is on the weight scale so what you need to check you need to check the needle at what number the needle is so once you check the needle so you will find out that the needle is at 3 look it is at 3 so you can say the mass of the bag of floor is 3 kg the mass of the bag of floor is 3 kg clear guys clear that's very good what you guys don't need to shout just answer it clear or not okay yes clear Yes. 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 Very good. That's very good. That's very good. All right. Now I'm going to move to the next page, page number one hundred and thirty-nine. Page number one hundred and thirty-nine. So guys, open your book, page number one hundred and thirty-nine. Come to the page number one hundred and thirty-nine. Now, guys, we have to compare. let us compare the masses of the objects below in grams packet of tissue this is a weight balance there is a packet of tissue this is also a weight uh, scale here there is a small cloth of pack and there is a piece of paper you have to compare the masses of these i know it is not clear to you here that's why i have another uh you know page for you you can see guys this is a packet of tissue this is cloth pack and this is piece of paper first you have to check the weight of these three then you will be able to compare 
okay let me take saud with me what he want to ask saud wait saud i am going to open your mic yes saud there we are the unit is about measuring hmm. we are not measuring then what we are doing we are we are measuring on kilograms so again you said we are measuring okay right we are measuring obviously we are measuring we are checking the weight this is measurement hmm all right guys what you have to do here you have to check the weight of this packet of tissue this cloth and this piece of paper now if it is even if it is not visible to you so you have to open page number 139 of your book page number 139 of your book guys you have to understand this how to check the weight okay open your books page number 139 and check the weight check the weight of this tissue did you open the book guys Yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, yes. yes, sir. yes, yes, yes sir. That's very good. I try to make a big, uh, you know, picture here for you so that you can uh, check out the reading. But even if you face difficulty to read the reading, then I suggest you to open the books and check reading from the books. Okay, if it is not visible to you. All right. Look, guys, this. is zero first first you need to check uh, check the screen because i'm going to explain you something look this is 0 g this is g g means gram this is 0 g right and this is 20 g this is 40 g 60 g 80 g 100 g so you can see guys that from one to another there are 20 grams from 0 to 20 there are total 20 grams 20 to 40 there are 20 grams okay and the point is here this one so you have to find out the total weight right so what you will do first you should know that this is small intervals is equal to how many gram i am talking about this interval 2 3 and 4 for finding out this what you will do you know that from this point to this point how many grams are there 20 grams are there from one point to another point there are 20 grams okay now check how many intervals are there how many short lines are there 1 2 3 and 4 on the fourth line you reached 20 now what you will do you will divide 20 by 4 divide 20 by 4 why you are dividing 20 by 4 because you want to know the value of a short line 20 divided by 4 equals to what yes guys check the table of 4 4 multiplied by what will give you 20 4 multiplied by what will give you 20 tell me 5 5 5 5 four multiplied by very good again i am asking 4 multiply by what will give you 20 why 5 6 6 why 6 very good the answer is 5 4144284312 okay and 4416 uh, and 4520 so the answer is 5 Twenty divided by four is equals to five. You know, guys, what does that mean? 
that's mean that this short line this short line is equal to 5 gram okay what does that mean guys again i repeat that one short line is equal to 5 gram okay that's mean you are counting in 5 from 0 0 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 6 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 95 and 100 again i am repeating what you will do you will check the numbers this is a big line how much difference is that 20 0 plus what will give you 20 20 okay now you will check from uh, this line to this line how many total short lines are there one two three four five sorry one two three four four so you divide 20 by four and you find out that one short line is equals to how many gram so when you divide 20 by four so four multiplied by five will give you 20 so the answer is five that's mean one short line is equals to five gram is it clear guys That's very good. Now it is very easy. Now it is very easy. Now it is very easy. So you know that in this weight scale, a short line is telling you 5 gram. Every short line is equal to 5 gram. Now check the needle. Check the weight. This is the weight. This is the weight. Okay. This is 20. plus this one line is equals to 5 gram so 20 plus 5 is equals to what guys 20 plus why you all are not answering 20 plus 5 is equals to 25 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. That's mean this packet of tissue weight is equals to 25 gram. This weight is equals to this packet of tissue weight is equals to 25 gram. Look here. The mass of the packet of tissue is 25 gram you also checked how it is 25 gram this is 20 it it is after 20 only one after 20 there is one interval you know it that this one interval is equals to 5 gram so you add 5 in the 20 and you get the result that is 25 gram is it clear to you guys that's very good now you will check the weight of this you will check the weight of this cloth pack look this is between 0 and 20 okay check how many lines are there this is 5 and this is another 5 so 5 plus 5 is equals to yes guys 5 plus 5 is equals to 10 10 10 10 10 so this cloth pack is equals to 10 gram this cloth pack is equals to 10 gram how do you know because you know every interval is equals to 5 gram and 1 5 and 5 10 so this is equals to 10 gram so you can see here the mass of the cloth pack is 10 gram clear guys yes yes, yes. yes. that's very good
Now you have to check the weight of this piece of paper. You have to check the weight of this piece of paper. And you have to tell the answer by yourself. In the chat box, I'm waiting for your answer. Check the reading in the book and tell me, tell me how much weight is that for this piece of paper. Also use gram because this is in gram. Muhammad Farooq, very good. Ammar, very good. Iyad Shami, very good. All students need to answer. Check the weight of this piece of paper. Sharif Ahmad, very good. And tell me. Muhammad Farooq, very good. No, Saud. Iyad, no. Ahmad Yusuf, no. Hamedo, very good. Elias, no. Yes, Abdul Rahim. No, Arsh. Check. Check the reading. Look, this is the point. Here. This is the needle. Okay. Check. You know that one interval is equals to 5 gram. You know it. Look this. You know it. That's one interval is equals to 5 gram. Check how many intervals are there after 0. And tell me the weight. Okay. I'm going to take Abdul Rahim Fadi. He is saying he has question. Abdul Rahim Fadi, yes. Sir, what is the question? I don't hear you. The question is that you have to check the piece of the uh, the mass of this piece of paper. Okay. The mass. Yes. Of this paper. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Check this reading and tell me. Now you are uh, you can just check in the book and tell me what is the answer here. Guys, I'm going to open your mic and you will have to tell me. Yes. How much weight is that? Five kilograms. Five kilograms. Five Very good. But it is not five kilograms. Some students are saying five kilograms. Look, this is only G. If it is written kg, that's its kilogram. It is only written G. It is only written G. So that is gram. Okay. So you can see guys that this is the first interval, only one. So one interval is equals to five gram. So you will say that this piece of paper is equals to five gram. It is equals to five gram. Check in the book. The mass of the piece of paper is Five gram. So now you are able to read the weight from this weight balance also. Am I right, guys? Yes. 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 Very good. Because you know the weight now. If the question is asking you, can you tell me how much heavy the packet of tissue? is then the piece of paper. So you will say, sir, this packet of tissue is 25 gram and piece of paper is five gram, okay? To find out the difference, to compare what we do, minus 25 minus five is equals to 20 gram. 25 minus 5 is equals to 20 gram. So we can say, sir, you can say, sir, the packet of tissue is 20 gram heavier. Is 20 gram heavier than the piece of paper. Or you can also say that the piece of paper is 20 gram lighter than packet of tissue. Again, I repeat, guys, 
what you are doing you are comparing the masses the mass of the packet of tissue 25 mass of the cloth 10 and piece of paper 5 if i ask you which is among a packet of tissue cloth bag and piece of paper which is heaviest so you will say sir packet of tissue because it is 25 25 is the biggest it is heaviest if i ask you the piece piece of paper is lighter than tissue you will say yes if i ask you the packet of tissue is uh, heavier than piece of paper you will say yes okay how much heavier how much heavier so for that you will do subtraction write the bigger number first 25 then the smaller number minus it what is the answer 20 so you will see sir the packet of tissue is 20 g heavier than the piece of paper do you understand this guys That's very good. Okay, now we are going to compare this cloth bag and piece of paper. So you know that the mass of the cloth bag is ten gram, whereas the mass of this piece of paper is five gram. If I ask you, tell me how much piece of paper is lighter. First, if I ask you, which is lighter? cloth bag or piece of paper you will see as a piece by piece of paper why because it is less 5 is less than 10 okay then what you will do you have to find out now how much lighter a piece of paper is than the packet of tissue so find out that you will do subtraction to find out the difference write the bigger number first 10 minus 5 Is equals to five gram. So you will see, sir, the packet of tissue or the piece of paper is five gram lighter than the cloth bags. Or we can arrange the object in order from the heaviest to the lightest. The heaviest object is packet of tissue, which is because it is equals to twenty five gram. But because it is equal to twenty five gram, then the cloth bag because it is ten gram less than twenty five, but greater than the weight of the mass of piece of paper, and the piece of paper is five gram. So heaviest is packet of tissue, then cloth bag, then piece of paper. Is it clear, guys? that that's very good that's very good guys so we will uh, keep up to here and inshallah from tomorrow we will start the practice zone of this and we'll continue from here our class time is finished guys take care of yourself inshallah meet you tomorrow take care bye 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 bye, bye. 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 bye.